Hey everybody, this is Bryce with Timberframe HQ. In this Timberframe quick tip, we're going to take a look at using a large circular saw to make a drop cut uh, to form a tenon. Now this is a, a really fast way to make a tenon, but I will admit the first time I did it, it was a little uncomfortable and it took me a little while to get used to it. So definitely take your time, start with a small saw, and work your way up, and I think you'll find that this is a great way um, to speed up. Uh, the process of cutting a tenon. Make sure you wear eye protection, hearing protection, and you read and understand everything about your saw. Um, but other than that, let's get rolling. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we're going to do is to score all the lines we're going to cut with the power saws. And what this does is it gives uh, the saw and your eye a nice line to follow and it also gives a nice crisp clean edge so also when you go back with a chisel it gives you something to follow then after that we're going to cut off each end squarely uh, making two cuts and for this we're going to use uh, my Bigfoot um, which is a skill saw with a ten and a quarter inch uh, Bigfoot kit you can find these at Amazon.com of course two cuts um, th this saw cuts four inches and this is a six by. Um, if you had a 16 inch saw, of course you could cut this in one cut, but I've never made that investment and never will. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is transfer the lines of the um, tenon down the ends, and this is gonna give us the place to um, make that drop cut. And we're gonna do it with a pencil, and then we're gonna follow it up with a razor knife. And uh, of course, it's scoring that line so we have something nice to follow. And uh, for this, I'm using the Borderman Square, which is a handy tool. You can pick these up from the, the Timber Framers Guild, they're great. Now, here's the drop cut, get the saw going, and we're just going to let gravity work and just cut each cut. Like I mentioned in the intro, you know, it took me a little while to get used to cutting things this way, and uh, so take it slow. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. But just make two cuts, and this cuts the sides of the tenon. After you've gotten this done, the next thing to do is to cut off the shoulders. And I'm going to switch to my smaller skill saw um, to make one cut, because it's the right size. This is my trusty Porter Cable seven and a quarter that I've had for a number of years, and uh, it just keeps on keeps on giving. Once again, that score line, of course, gives us that nice line to follow, and if you can cut the line just right, that's all you need to do. So. What I did was I offset the tenon from the reference that it's two inches, and it's an inch and a half tenon. Uh, so the other cut was a little deeper, and I needed to use the big foot here for that cut. And there we are. So the last thing to do is just to knock off that block and come in here. Um, Sometimes you don't get everything lined up, so I just grab my Japanese hand saw here and just kind of cleaned up the, the edges. Sometimes you can get that just perfect. And then it just leaves a little edge there that just needs to be cleaned up. So I'm just going to pound down here with my chisel, clean that up. Then pair it up nice and smooth. Got to get those corners. I must admit, it a clamp. I said to myself several times, I just need to get a clamp. But I was videotaping, so I didn't. But I would highly recommend. You know, if if the pieces move in or doing anything weird, go ahead and grab a clamp, and clamp it down. That way, it's nice and secure, and uh, it'll actually make things um, 
work a lot better. The last thing I'm going to do is just pare down the, the edges of the, the end of the tenon here. And this just makes sure that when you're raising or something like that, it slides in easier um, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't hang up on anything. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to find out more about timber framing, head over to TimberFrameHQ.com and make sure to sign up for our newsletter and get a free set of timber frame sawhorse plans. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thank you.